Let's have a little lesson on this sixth in C major. This is from Giuliani's Opus 1, Part 2, and this is number 2. Um, if you already have the sheet music, um, it's in lots of books. It's in, you know, Pumping Nylon and all sorts of other books. But if you don't, I do have an edition of, of these left-hand studies. So you can check that out in a link in the description. And also, check out the other video I made. So if you follow that link, I made another video on how to practice these studies and why they're important. So make sure you go watch that. I'll talk about it a little bit today, but I'll leave most of the lesson to that previous video. So in Giuliani's Opus uh, 1, you know, he starts off with those 120 right-hand exercises, and then he has these left-hand exercises, or etudes. And they go through a number of different keys and a number of different intervals, like thirds, sixths, um, octaves, tenths. And it's really great for your reading skills and your technique and your shape recognition and interval recognition. It just deeply puts those shapes into the hand. And it's a real challenge too. They're, they're, not, they're not that easy either. So um, in that other video, you know, I talk about practicing these as block chords. Just to teach your left hand the actual shapes. It's good for your muscle memory. But when you actually go to play them, you know, you want to get the next note first. So you might have to get like the bass note first if you want to smoothly transition through them. But like I said, check that other video out. Um, so I'm using Giuliani's fingerings and in this, but in sixths, the fingerings work out okay, um, pretty good, but there's still lots of places where Giuliani just like bounces fingers around without any, um, any consideration for legato playing. And I think that's part of the point. It, it's just like a lot of position playing and, and just playing the shapes in position without too much shifting and weird fingerings. It's just like very direct um, brute force almost technique. It's just hop those fingers smoothly as quickly as possible to cover up any gaps in the legato. So it's a real legato challenge sometimes um, because on occasion he'll just use the same fingerings back to back and you have to you have to leap a finger over um but that's okay um it's a really good exercise and really great for your left hand technique and in this one i don't think there's too much to talk about um it's pi the whole time very comfortable shapes you know um thirds like the last video i did thirds are a very small kind of shape um very compact very good for teaching students to play on their fingertips and curve their fingers because those notes are so close together sometimes that you really do have to curve your fingers. Sixths are a very comfortable shape, um, not really a stretch, just really, it's like finger candy to me. I just like, it's so comfortable to grab these shapes and just go for it. Um, octaves will get a little bit more difficult. It's like a little bit of a stretch here and there. And then tenths is even a bigger shape, so quite a bit of stretching involved there. But like I said, sixths, fairly, fairly comfortable. The only other thing I'll, I'll say is just follow the fingering um, and just, you know, jump those fingers. Sometimes you'll have a fingering like three, two, and then you'll have two, one right afterwards. It's hard to do that smoothly. You have to just move your fingers as, as quickly as possible and minimize that damage as much as possible. So, uh, but with that, that's a great exercise, and in guitar playing, as we all know, sometimes you do just have to deal with awkward fingerings and jump your fingers as smoothly as possible, and so this is a real opportunity to, to practice that. And then when you're doing these upper position um, runs, just remember to use a guide finger. I'm using my second finger. The second finger is just staying down that whole time. So um, just keeping that finger on that string and using it as a guide, um, I think that's really helpful. It definitely stabilizes um, the playing throughout, throughout there. So just keep that in mind and then just keep working on these and enjoy them. Practice them very slowly practice them as block chords, practice them individually, um, and just 
and use a metronome and just start really slow and, and work your way up. It's just so good for your technique. So much repetition of just of these common tonal shapes for the left hand. And uh, it just really gets that left hand organized and, and cooking.